On this episode of What's Going On With Shipping, the U.S. Coast Guard Sector Maryland has announced their plans to refloat the motor vessel ever forward. I'm your host, Alan McCogland, and welcome to this episode of What's Going On With Shipping. So I was just finishing editing the video I was going to post today on the evolution of container ships when I got word of the fact that the U.S. Coast Guard, specifically Coast Guard Sector Maryland, has released their plan to refloat motor vessel ever forward. So I want to go through their plan. They actually have two. They're going to try two separate attempts for it, but one of them as early as this Tuesday coming up, and then the latter one will be in early April. So let's go ahead and take a look at where motor vessel ever forward is right now and what's the plan for the attempted refloating. If you haven't had done had a chance yet, please subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos when they come out. All right, let's get to the plan. So no surprises, motor vessel ever forward is exactly where she was. Uh, no movement yet of the vessel. Uh, if we zoom in here a little bit, let's go ahead and get in here and take a look at what's been going on around her. Again, channel's still open. We're seeing an inbound vessel right now. The Parsifal coming in, uh, vehicle carrier inbound. Here's ever forward. And let's take a look at around there in her dredging operation and see what we have. So here she is. Let's move this out of the way here so everybody can see. There we go. Here's the Oyster Bay off the starboard bow, dredging away. And then Dale Pyatt there off the stern, still performing her dredging. So the word came out today. This is the release here. Uh, Maritime uh, uh, Safety Information Bulletin 1022, update number one. This is from the captain of the port of Maryland uh, concerning specifically Error Forward. So this is the document right here. And basically it is a information bulletin. There's a similar one just issued by the captain of the port of Baltimore. So right here, you'll see on their second page, they've got two plans here going on. So I'm gonna zoom in here on the plan. So this is the image here for the first plan that they have. Let's see if we can zoom it back in, there we go. So let's uh, talk about this plan and specifically what they wanna do. So here you can see ever forward, stern of the vessel right here, all the way up to the bow of the vessel. The blue area here is the Craig Hill Channel. And this is directly from the announcement from the captain of the port. Initial attempt to refloat the ever forward will occur on Tuesday, March 29th. This effort will involve five tugs configured as indicated in the diagram. The captain of port allowance for one-way traffic at a reduced safe speed through the safety zone will cease at approximately 12 p.m. noon on March 29th. At this time, the safety zone will increase to 1,000 yards around the Everett forward during these critical operations. The public should anticipate one-way traffic to resume at midnight or at the discretion of the captain of the port following the evolution. Mariners are to use, two, are to use extreme caution when transiting the vicinity and abide by the safety zone and any allowances by the captain of port advertised in the BNM, which is the uh, basically the notice to Mariner, via VHF channel 16. Now, Will Doyle, the, cat, uh, the CEO of the Port of Baltimore, issued a statement on his Twitter, which let me read that. So William Doyle says this on his Twitter account. First refloat will be Tuesday, March 29th, using five tugs, two pushing on the starboard side. You'll see them right here, one about midships, one about on the port quarter, two pulling from the port side, two tugs right here, they'll be pulling across, and then one long pull from the stern. So this seems to be the first attempt they want to do. So we know they've dredged this area astern of the vessel, and it appears what they want to do is kind of what we talked about here, is try to swing the stern of the vessel into the channel, kind of pivot on that bow and turn the vessel on the bow kind of counterclockwise pull her stern into the channel. If they can get her stern off the bottom and into deeper water, then they can use the ship's propeller, put it astern and try to pull her off. Now, one of the things that I get from this image right away and based on what Bill Doyle is putting out here is it looks like they're gonna be using four tugs for pushing and pulling right here and then one on this long toe. The one on the long toe is probably one of Don John's larger salvage tug. This is the Atlantic Enterprise. She's going right now through the C&D Canal, the Chesapeake, Delaware Canal. She had come out of New York and she is heading westbound right now into the upper Chesapeake Bay 
Here is error forward all the way down here. So obviously they're gonna use the Atlantic Enterprise. I would assume on either the long toe or on the short pull off the starboard quarter. Either way, that's where I assume she'll be either one of these big tugs right here or on the long toe off there. Prospect for this, I, I'm not sure about it. I, I just don't know if this is gonna be enough just pushing and pulling with tugs. Uh, they're not talking about anchoring any of these tugs and pulling on them. It seems like they're just discussing right now, pulling on them, trying to see if they can get her to move. I, I, the first test is going to be is if she moves at all, if they can get her to, to move any way into the channel at all, if she can start to move. And again, one of the things that this does is because they've dredged off the stern and they've dredged down the uh, starboard side of the vessel quite a bit, is they can basically shift her a little bit. They're not trying to push the entire vessel sideways. They're trying to pivot on that bow, which minimizes the chance of her rolling. The problem is she is up on a, almost like a shelf at some point here. If they dredged a lot right here along the, the starboard side, the right side of the vessel facing forward, then there's the potential for her to roll. This pull has, I, I'm not gonna say a huge, chance of success just because of the nature of it. I, now, again, I'm not a salvage expert by any means, but I just think they talked about the fact that this ship grounded with 15 to 20,000 metric tons of grounding force, and they've dredged a lot. So I'm not sure what the calculations are for how they've changed that. Uh, again, uh, all the best of luck. I hope they do it. I hope they get her free and, and pop her out. If they do, they're able to swing her stern out. They'll probably have to reset at that point, get tugs on her to basically pull her astern at that point. They don't want to be pushing her anymore because then you don't want her to go sideways across the channel, which is ever given. If the first attempt doesn't work, this is what second attempt will be. Uh, if the above uh, described evolution is unsuccessful, a second attempt to refloat move the vessel ever forward will occur on about April 3rd or fourth. So that's when they're looking for right there about the, the third or the fourth uh, coming in there to be able to move her. This effort will involve two anchored pulling barges and five tugs configured as indicated in the diagram to right. The pulling barges will remain out of the channel, but will be positioned themselves as early on Friday, April 1st, as with the previously described pulling up op uh, evolution. The captain of port intends to cease all traffic through the zone which will be 1,000 yards around ever forward. And again, Bill Doyle goes into this in another tweet he does. Uh, he talks about the fact that they'll be using two anchored pulling barges from stern and five tugs, additional tugs on bow pulling aft. So right here, five tugs, two again on the quarter, two on the port side, and then this one will be trying to pull the bow around at this time. You'll see two barges here. And what they're gonna do is on those barges are winches. Those winches will be hooked up two to the vessel and then two to anchors set deep into the channel. And basically what these two tugs do is pull on that. And what they're trying to do is almost like an elastic band, pull her off, try to snap her off the uh, area here. That's what these tugs are alongside is to keep her from going. So that plan seems a better course of action for me. Again, I, I, I'm not a salvage expert. Uh, but that one seems like a better course of action. You're going to get more pull, specifically those two barges with anchors on there. Understand the five bar, the five tugs pushing and pulling. It, it's like being in the water trying to kick and push a boat. It's, it's not as effective as when you're anchored in a certain spot. So we'll be monitoring this. Obviously, we're going to see. So on Tuesday at noon, they're going to close the channel into Baltimore start tracking it. Obviously, you'll be able to follow along on all the marine tracking apps. I use uh, marine traffic. If they're unable to do that, they will reset for the weekend for April 3rd or 4th. Not sure when. Probably bring in, again, uh, those barges with the winches and have to set them into the channel. And then obviously more dredging is, is I think, what they're going to want to do if they're going to reset. So, uh, Great news that came out. Would have loved to seen it in a news briefing, but I'll take it from the bulletin from the uh, captain of the port. So I will have that link to the bulletin in the show notes 
for you. And as we get any more information, be sure to uh, keep you advised. And who knows, maybe we'll do a live stream while they're trying to salvage the ever forward, but we'll see. It sounds like it's gonna be a long operation. And usually those operations take a, a batch of time. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, please, if you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you'll be alerted about new videos. When they come out, leave a comment, give it a thumbs up, share it across social media. And if you can, if you can, become a Patreon. Join the, our, our Patreon page and become a patron for the channel. We appreciate all the assistance is given to allow us to bring this information to you. Until our next episode, Sal, signing off.